Yeah, I'm just doing a ins install DCC. Not sure whether I'm doing sound on this, but I'm just going to stick in a, a lot pilot. There's not much space on this loco. Um, but I've never come across this brace here. It's a brace bracket. I don't know if you can see it clearly in the picture, but you've got to force this bracket downwards from uh, the clip, which I think is die cast metal, the chassis here. So we've got to try and push this brace clamp off the motor to get to the DCC interface. I've never come across this, this before on any model, never come across it. Pretty strange. I'm going to get this brace bracket off. I've tried once and it's very, very tight fitting. So I'm going to have another go. See if we can get that off. Yeah, anyone trying to do this, it's best to put it on the side. You put a logo on its side. Uh, hold it carefully and then just prise a screwdriver in there. And you've got to put a fair amount of pressure on that on that lug around here. This is die cast metal, all of it, so it's not going to break off and it just pops off. So there we go. Don't know whether to put a sound decoder in this because it's such a, a pain to do because uh, the coder interface is right at the bottom of the tender underneath all the electronics. Yeah, so that's the plate. I'm talking about and that has another plate that goes below it which is plastic you've got to make sure that is kept in the same position as when it when it goes to be fitted refitted and then the motor um, should just pop out well, like that I mean that's pretty straightforward really I suppose you just got to reposition the drive shaft that goes out, that connects into uh, the main uh, boiler. Because the boiler is uh, 2, 4, 6, 8. Well, the boiler is 10 wheel drive, and the tender is 2 wheel drive, I think. So you can see the interface there. It's got to take that. Plug off there. It's a dark plastic cap. So I'll take that off and then uh, install the decoder. Yeah, so the plug's out. I think I might go the full uh, hole and just put a DCC sound decoder in here. I've got a speaker for it, which is a Zemo. Sugar cube speaker will go in the cab quite easily. But um, then you've got to install the interface wiring and bring it up through the top of the tender and fit the actual chip inside that area. Goes on top of there feed the wires through the drive shaft area of the tender which would be through that hole speaker wires will come through there into the cab so it's either that or just leave it non-sound so uh, I think spend another 90 quid or 86 quid on it. It is a fantastic logo. Um, and a rare one as well. So I have to decide what to do. Yeah, so got the chip mounted there. Which is suitable, that's fine. The wires have got to come in from around the back, and there's no other way. So there we have it, I'll get it on the tracks now and try it out, but this one's been a very awkward uh, DCC install, even though it's got the interface, because you've got to take the motor out 
Um, you've got to be very careful taking the tender apart, not to damage it. And don't wash it, just take your time doing it if you're doing one of these. So I'll just give it a test now. Right, so I'll give it a run. Yeah, it looks quite uh, nice. Something different. Next day, the gravel. It's uh, looks quite cool. No sound, but it's no big deal. Connect it up to a rake of carriages now. Yeah. 